very nice meeting you. Thank you so much for coming. You're welcome. The best news I've heard all day. Yes, good luck with it. Thank you. Go tell those neighbors. Yes. <laughs> we'll check them out on the way down. <laughs> Bye, Archie. Bye. All right. This is the face of relief after a hard-won battle with these uninvited guests. All right, so this is a bed bug. It's caught on a simple piece of tape. You little bastards. They're full of our blood, and this is the mothership. It's like practicing kissing with your cousin or eating a booger. You know, one of those things that happened to a friend of yours that one time? Well, now I'm that friend, and I'm opening my video journal with everything you always wanted to know about bed bugs, but were too grossed out to ask. Scientific name, Cymex lectularius. Like many non-Native Americans, bed bugs came to these shores via ships. These with colonial settlers. Withstanding temperatures of nearly freezing to 122 degrees Fahrenheit, their average lifespan is between 6 and 12 months. They generally feed 5 minutes every 10 days and can digest 7 times their body weight in blood. That's like an average guy drinking about 120 gallons of water. In ideal situations, like my bedroom, a female bedbug can lay one to five eggs a day, potentially more than 500 in a lifetime. It's what, a quarter to midnight? And I don't think there's gonna be much sleep happening here tonight. So in New York City, you can't throw out a mattress on the street without it being wrapped in plastic, and now we see why. But who has plastic at midnight to wrap a mattress, and I'm not really in the mood to make a Home Depot run, so these contractor bags that I just swiped from the garbage can downstairs are going to have to do, because this mattress is not staying in this house one second longer. Well, it's 2.24 now, and I'm going to do my best to go to bed on the couch garbage bag covered couch. This is what four o'clock in the morning looks like in bed style. And you live next to a building under construction. This can't be legal. Being alarmed. Eight o'clock. Um, I wish it was all a bad dream, but I woke up on the floor. The couch wasn't doing it, so I'm laying on a bed of cushions wrapped in a trusty plastic bag. It's not ideal. You would not believe what happened last night from the day we're having now. When I looked out of my window and I saw this. It's a telltale sign of something that you don't know unless you do know and unfortunately I know because I looked across the street and this was waiting. It seems as if bed is in the middle of a bed bug epidemic. All right. So when I moved into this place I found it on Craigslist and the ad said, bright but ugly. Well, it was bright but ugly, but it wasn't a mess like it is now. 
I promise you I do not live like this on a regular day. But when you have pets that you didn't adopt at a shelter, this is what happens to your apartment. I know, right? That's evidence. So, landlord, 12.45 a.m. Guess what, I just found bed bugs. He calls the exterminators and the exterminator sends you a little preparation sheet. So, if you plan on discarding your mattress, do so before treatment. Mattress wrapped and outside. Remove all sheets and pillowcases from the mattress and put it in a sealed bag. Remove the mattresses and all furniture should be 18 inches, at least 18 inches away from the walls. Take down all curtains and remove clothing from the dressers or closets. It's all hangers in there now. And you're supposed to remove all the clothing from the dressers as well. And they're in plastic bags waiting their trip to the laundromat where they're going to be put on a high drying cycle for at least half an hour. Back to the living room. Everything is away from the wall by a good 18 inches. Everything that was in those drawers is in these black bags. My apartment is a mess and I'm still waiting for the exterminator to come and begin what I've been told is going to be the first of three treatments. It's not even three o'clock. All right, so is this really going to be a three treatment job, you think? It depends if you're still game, right? So in the last six months, how many have you uh, exterminated? How many have you been on? A lot. A lot in the last six months? Yeah. Put a number, like 10 a lot or 20 a lot? Five or six, and that's a lot. Mainly in bed sty or all over? Okay, I see you have a ventilator and I'm walking around, so I'm about to leave. Well, after two more treatments, a sock full of quarters and a new mattress complete with bed bug proof encasements, the ghost stitches had subsided, but there was still a nagging question in my head every night right around bedtime. Are they really gone? Ready? Enter Fiona and Archie from Bed Bug Detectives and Advisors in Flatbush. This team is certified by the National Entomology Scent Detection Canine Association to sniff out bed bugs and their eggs. If it's been six weeks with no bites, in all likelihood you're in good shape. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of the year living bed bug free. They're a fact of life. Let's not be hysterical. Let's not stop going out to cultural events. Mm -hmm. um, don't stop inviting your friends over for dinner. You know, uh, but just be vigilant. Yeah. And if you have concerns, look a little deeper. And, um, and if you think you might have bed bugs, act on it. Don't uh, push it under the carpet.